And today we're going to talk about Warren Buffett's seven top pieces of wisdom in investment. Let's go. When the whole world is quiet, the whole world feels the pain. I'm the happiest guy. Duh. Don't feel emotional on things that you're not in control. Liquidate your entire holdings <laughs> <laughs> to buy in. Nobody wants to lose money, right? If you are part of every game, you cannot be good at anything. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Cafe Money. And with me today, we have Ken and we have Chewy and of course me, Benny. And today we're going to talk about Mr. Classic Warren Buffett, right? If you are into investment and if you haven't heard of Warren Buffett, you're not living on planet Earth. Okay, yeah. say that again. Huh? He's uh, what, the richest investor? I think he is. Richest investor now? Yeah. Still richest? Investor. He is, yeah, I guess. He, yeah, he, he is, is still. Yeah. yeah, he is still. Yeah, so... <laughs> I mean, if he's the richest guy, he m probably will have some... Um, Good words of advice and yes. pieces or words of wisdom for everybody. <laughs> so the question right. is, are these words of wisdom still relevant for all mm. of us today? And or yes. if it is even like applicable? We have found this article, which you can link at the bottom for you guys to read it mm. on this seven piece of wisdom. And we're going to comment on it, share with you guys and critique whether it makes sense in our opinion. Okay, so let's go straight to the point. Number Point one. Number one. Rule number one is never lose money. And rule number two is never forget rule number one. So, guys, what uh, is your opinion? I think that is like quite stupid, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you say one of the stupid, okay? I mean, come on, of course, nobody wants to lose money, right? So, his advice is basically rule number one, don't lose n money. And then rule number two is don't forget rule number one, which is don't lose money. I mean, nobody wants to invest and lose money. Isn't that like, the? It's like telling you, hey, guys, don't ever eat rotten food. Or don't <laughs> shit in your own backyard. Okay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, so before we go there, or I, use I, protection. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I think it's about a risk reward ratio because um, maybe he's trying to hint that um, if you just do not invest in things that will go zero sum, you know, that means like, mm -hmm. oh, I get triple the return, right. but you be zero sum, right? You will always be safe in 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 the market, you know. Mm -hmm. And and the idea is that be very careful about like crazy opportunities about risking them all but making 10x right and just be really safe on that i think that's what he's trying to drive at so for me i feel um it is a very strange advice i think it's a very good marketing sentence mm. because mm. any any school say that they follow warren buffett they teach a the warren buffett way and they use this as a marketing tool you sure want marketing lose money? statement, marketing yeah. hook line to say never lose money to tell people that you know if you invest with us or together with us or if you learn our way of investment, you will not lose money. I think that is yeah, very I, I, questionable. I think it's very marketing, mm. uh, but in terms of practicality, nah. I mean, I, let's let, let's look at him way back when he invests in uh, McDonald. Mm -hmm. Do you think he ever lose money in investment? All the time. Of course, right? All the time. So how can he use this advice on himself? No, maybe as a, as a portfolio <laughs> where he is right now, as in mm. like yeah, on, on a portfolio perspective, like he 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 he's not losing. I mean, as a portfolio, yeah. Yeah. yes, yeah. Uh, that yes. Portfolio, this yeah. makes sense at a portfolio. But yeah, on the individual level, no. I think he. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like two years back, I saw he lost like four hundred million dollars. On the okay, the Walmart the version in, is it? in in UK or something. Like that. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, was yeah. that? I, I can't remember. Yes, yes, yes. He he, he pulled it. He pulled out after. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and also Boeing. Also, he lost quite a fair bit, right? Boeing. Yeah, I think he lost. Actually, I I I know a lot of companies he invested in <laughs> and lost money. Yeah, <laughs> especially in recent yeah. years. Yeah, but yeah. I just think that I mean, thinking back way back uh, in his golden years where he invested in McDonald's, right? Yeah, I mean, that was good. I mean, but there is also a risk of losing it all. I mean, nobody knows McDonald's is gonna be like this monstrous level, right? Mm. So I would say, um, to invest is to know that you are opening yourself up to calculated risk. So to have this sentence, it might be very scary because you mm. might fall into guaranteed return schemes and uh, and whatnot uh, if you're mm. not willing to lose money. Yeah, so yeah. Mm. that's our opinion. Um, I, I think it's overall an advice for like, you know, you just got to be really careful what you invest in and make sure that uh, 
you, you avoid start. losing money and yeah. as an overall portfolio it's a but just be a little bit careful if you're like new and you're reading this piece of advice yeah mm. number two advice yeah. opportunities come infrequently true mm. when it rains go put out a bucket not a timber right uh-huh. this makes like freaking a lot of sense opportunities come is when the stock market crash or when crypto crash i mean obviously warren buffett doesn't do crypto but <laughs> whatever assets out there sudden crash the crash is like like uh you know when the whole world is quiet the whole world feels the mm. pain i'm the happiest guy yeah he's the happiest guy everybody's happiest guy but 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 with the covid crash i don't know warren buffett he donkey Really? Yeah. <laughs> what did he, he do? He didn't go in. I think he had he had more cash during the COVID times, the the whole run up. I think he missed it. I'm not too sure if my facts are right, but I know him. He is in sitting like in the biggest amount of cash ever, like during yeah. the whole COVID times. I will share a personal experience on this, right? I mean, you see when things are going high, 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 and high up. Mm. Um, people are going all in, like mm. NFTs, mm. right? Mm. They're going all in, right? But yet, when market crash. You hear people saying, oh, since the market crashes, test a bit of money to see where it goes. But they don't go in with the big bucks, right? And you've all voiced down to one of our old video, which is conviction. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you're truly convicted with the shares they're investing in, and if, uh, say, for example, for Ken, if Tesla were to crash, a, f- a flash crash overnight, right, he'll probably buy more into than, than anything else rather than be like, oh, let me just test with like, $12 to see whether the stocks will go up, right? I think mm. that's the thing. So be very convicted in what you're doing so that when the opportunity arise, you dare to take the leap of faith la, into oh. whatever yeah. your research does. I, I yeah. think that, right, this piece of wisdom is a good reminder for most people or most investors. But uh, practically, I think a lot of people need this reminder a lot. Opportunity yeah. comes, right? People are always very fearful to act. Yeah, and to add on to your point, so how do you make use of this opportunity when it ever comes? It doesn't come like like every year it comes once or it may come once every few years. Mm-hmm. How to add on to Chewy, like what she said, you need to build the knowledge up. Like you need to look at something that you absolutely believe in what the company is doing or when it comes to crypto, oh, the vision is there, you know, that kind of thing. And when that particular asset drops significantly, that's it, man. Liquidate your entire holdings. <laughs> <laughs> to buy in liquidate really, everything really. sell your whatever you know? but I'll be very yeah. scared to do that I mean to be honest yeah. to liquidate everything and sell off let's say all the properties and liquidate and to buy in I'll be very scared to really act on it so that's why I think this is a very good um, reminder a reminder but no you're scared because of the stocks but if a property that you know uh-huh. is at 80% discount what will you do okay Bought bye 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 bye. for sure for sure you exactly know what to do so for that me stop means yeah. you conviction. do not have conviction yeah conviction. you but you have yeah because we can literally just ask you another asset class yeah. without shadow of a doubt we're gonna jump in immediately right so yeah, you you'll be like, like okay, your okay, okay. you will, okay. I know you're better, you were that <laughs> property 80%. Well, wow, you do whatever it takes. I yeah, know yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, I will yeah. do whatever it takes to squeeze out can, that can, money can, to buy, buy, buy. Imagine a 15%, he's gonna do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, oh, that's, wow, what an interesting point, huh, right? And then it's, that is it's so subjective to asset class, right? That you're yes. comfortable in, right? That's yeah. why I think can have no doubt and is so comfortable in the stocks. Mm. Uh, at one, field, right? at one yeah. point, right, I was about to liquidate all my my companies all my asset holdings in property <laughs> to go into tesla if we drop just that that portion more but wow. it didn't went down that amount then i was telling the whole world i'm gonna if tesla ever dropped to that price i'll sell everything away wow. i did a video i i openly declared to the world oh no mm. wow well, that mm. takes a lot of conviction I yes would say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i think so let's give a rating to this um point i think is uh relevant it's good I think yep. you guys need to be convicted know what you're doing go for it Buffett good on you right good advice <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. so advice number three we simply attempt to be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy only when others are fearful wow this is quite commonly used huh? but what do you guys think about this I think it's great marketing but at the same time it's really great advice to us as a both is mm. a good balance it is I don't see this very much different from the previous advice though Right, so when everyone is being greedy, you should be fearful and just be very careful of not entering. But anyhow, I feel right, if you are convicted in whatever you are buying into, 
you will still be convicted and you should just do it. I think the previous advice is a little bit different for me. It's about the pot of money you're invested in. Mm. I mean, you could be uh, greedy, but you put like 10%, then... Or, eh, I mean, or, like, or 2,000 like, a month. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, 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 please. Sorry, 3,000 a month, okay? 3,000 dollars 3, a month. Right, I think... Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 I can't help it, sorry, guys. Uh. Yeah, but if you simply... Um, um, wear a fearful hat when others are greedy I think it's hard to do mm. I'll say it's hard to do yeah, yeah. I mean it sounds simple when imagine everybody left right center around you is like making like 2x4 3x4 4x4 right? yeah. then how are you going to wear the fearful hat it's not easy you know you'll be like oh shit I want to join to the, the fun right yeah I think yeah. like because everybody is so confident in the market let's say they are jumping into the bandwagon of doing this investment that investment right it really actually boosts out your confidence uh, whether is it rational or not? I think, her, I think it's hurt, hurt, hurt mentality. Hurt mentality, yeah. Yes. I think hurt mentality is very real. Are you a uh, sheep or are you yeah. a... So when the, when the market sheep drops hurt. in uh, Bitcoin and crypto, not this recent crash, but the previous one, the market was quiet. You know, it went sideways. Remember mm-hmm. the time when Tesla, was side, everything was sideways, right? Mm. Um, I think Chiwi and I bought into crypto as well. It was a bad time to buy into, but it was the best time because everybody was fearful. But we went in and poops, it went back up again. Yeah, and then mm. when everybody's like all time confident of everything, right? Look what happened recently. Mm. Just crash again. So I think you just ought to understand that um, the stock market is a Mr. Market is a very interesting phenomenon. Sometimes it doesn't follow companies' valuation, potential, and asset. Yeah. It's really driven by demand and supply. Yeah. yeah. And to be honest, when people are fearful, are you sure you dare to be greedy? It's not easy, yeah. That's why. But I'm ready now. The next one. Mm. The next crash. Okay, the next crash, what will you buy? Yeah. Actually, I'll buy Tesla. I will also buy C though. Um, I, I actually okay. like C a, a, a little bit. Yeah, oh, I like C. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm. And lastly, I'm just waiting for the Singapore shares that will be listed in US, you know, which uh, the Singapore company, which is Grab. I recently went in very deep into understanding the rental car business that Grab owns. I right? thought Grab is listed, really. Okay, I, I'm not clear. Like, is, is Grab listed? Soon have to. They have to be listed soon. I think. Yeah. I think not yet. Not yet. I not thought through spec, right? Wait, 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 wait. You know what, let's do it live in the show, huh? Spec, yeah. yeah let's let's do it. Like. Through specs. Yeah, let's keep postpone. Use. Postpone? Postpone. Oh. On track end of the year. I'm interested to go in as well because I, w- I went very deep into the car rental business and you know how crazy is that? They have s- profile of Grab drivers mm-hmm. knowing who drive most and who is dangerous, who is competent and all this, right? Mm. So now they have even a deeper data into how to give you a car rental scheme based on your profile. Oh hmm. my gosh. It's really sick. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very big in grab. Oh, so their data collection is on the next level and how they use it. Uh. Mm. So I'm going to ask Ken back the boring question before I ask you. So when the stock market crash, uh, which share will you buy into? Still Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the I can't find the, the second one. So it's a boring uh, question. Mm, yeah. right? I think I will go into C. Ooh. Yeah. Oh no, we have two C person here. <laughs> I think I'll go yeah. into C because I already have a quite a big portion in Tesla. So I think I will put a little bit more into C. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I the thing is I don't hate C, right? Mm. I, I just need to be clear out here. C is a great company because other than Shopee, they still have a lot of other platforms like Garena, this and I'm then they will earn a lot of money for sure. And every country they go, they execute well. Mm-hmm. No, my my beef with C is like usually we are talking about shopping platforms with like in Singapore. I mean, it's like Alibaba versus yeah. C. I know because when I was doing my businesses previously, one of the biggest hurdle between like all these platforms is logistics. Yes, the person who solve lo- lo- who solve logistics wins. Like mm. And obviously, uh, yeah, Amazon, Alibaba soft it. Mm. C is far from it. Definitely. I, I tested them and they failed miserably with my sofa. <laughs> I, 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 I did talk about that in... Mm. Uh, in um, Your channel? Yeah. yeah, in my channel, yeah. Mm. I believe that C is a great company and they're far to go. And yeah, it's a great company. There you have it. Mm. Advice number three, you know, gotta be a little bit greedy when others are fearful and please wear on a skeptical hat uh, when everybody start to make money around you. Uh, just just yeah. be slightly skeptical, right? So now we go to advice number four. It's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. Do you think that's the best advice so far? This is a classic like value investing uh, principle. I mean, value investing in terms of when a company is cheap, you don't care about the like basic fundamentals. Mm. If the company drops in price, just buy in. 
that's the reason why the company price dropped in the first place. So it's like, I, I call it trying to catch a falling knife. So I'd rather buy, pay more for an expensive company. Mm. 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 What do you think, Chiri? I think it's a good advice. Uh, basically, right now, I think we should be buying into companies that's great, that has a good fundamentals. And a lot of companies, their price may drop. And I mean, if you really want to buy cheap, then you buy penny stocks, also very cheap. I mean, so what is really cheap? So the cheap should be tagged to the value of the company based on whether the company is a good company or not, right? So, mm. yep, I think it's a good advice over here. If you look at like watch brands, right? Mm-hmm. You can buy a extra premium expensive Rolex and you're not even paying at a fair price you're paying at a premium price right but you can trust in the next few years it's not going to go down but if you buy into like some crappy overly marketed watch brand like MVMT and those like Kickstarter brand even though they have 50% discount you can be very sure nobody's buying that 50% left of immediately price immediately after that price drop there's no buyer even <laughs> after that right so I think that's a fundamental thing about price you know like yeah. because you can buy something that is like very cheap and very you know like in a way good right very cheap but if you can't sell, it can't grow in the stocks market world mm. is uh, useless. Yes. So you'd rather buy something at a premium knowing there's a future. Mm. That's my take. Yeah, I want to ask you like, but this doesn't apply to properties, right? Because you do not want to buy an expensive property like at a fair, I, I mean, is there a wonderful property at, you know, you still buy expensive? Um. Okay, wait. If the property is really good, right? Okay, or rather if the property is really sucky and they're selling it at a very, very lousy price, then you can expect it to not be sold next time. Uh. No, but I'm talking about the, the, exit, the, other, the, side. Bike, yeah, the other side. Yeah, like let's say if it's a good property, means what does a good property means? Po- likely that the price is going to appreciate next time. So I think you can evaluate based on does the capital appreciation, the potential capital appreciation um, so you, worth the risk of you paying it at a fair price? I mean, here say fair price, not like the, the Overvalue is asking, is price, a premium right? price. Premium price, premium uh, but it's a wonderful, yeah. very good property. Yeah, but wonderful. Premium yeah, price. on middle of of everything. Yeah. Okay, wait. Very then, rentable. Uh, mm. Okay, wait. Then uh, I think there are other options out there. Yeah. All right. There we have it. I think price plays a very big mm. factor in property investment. Mm. In my in our property portfolio, we know price plays a very big factor on yeah. um, value because it's just a dead asset. It's just a house with four walls and like, like a, a door. Not like mm. companies where yep. there's a lot of unique attributes to it, right? Mm. But at the same time, if you're in a country that's uh, over demand, like in Singapore, if you have the holding power of t- 10 years or longer, even if you buy at the wrong price, it will surely go up because it's over demand. Like, like it, property price will not come down mm. uh, in property. That's the extreme. And I think sometimes if you buy into the property, the rental may seem good. You got to be really careful because sometimes the rental is dependent on the tenant, right? And if your tenant runs away or you can't find a replacement tenant that can fetch you that kind of rental, then you got to be very careful. Protein. So it's uh, very important to match it at the market price to be mm. realistic because even now let's say for the next few months you can rent it at a higher price right higher than the market price you should be calculating based on the market price that you are renting it out at to calculate yeah. your returns a, a, a little bit fast there because Chu is so blah, blah, uh, blah. experienced so this, professional uh, uh, yeah. your but in short <laughs> check whether your renter is a fair value renter because mm. it could yeah. be a blow up renter that mm. you can you be paying for the wrong price okay mm. so let's go to number five right now the most important quality of an investor is temperament, right? Uh, not intellect, hmm, not how smart you are. You need a temperament that neither derives great pleasures from being with the crowd or against the crowd. That means you need to be like stoic, you know, no mm. matter what the market feels, whether you're with or against. What do you think about this? Being emotionless in a way. Yep, you don't need to be smart to earn money investing. I've proven it. Look at me. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm a donkey. But as you make money. So I, I think most important is control your temperament, the, the, the mindset behind it again. Like I want you to do something now. You go to those news websites, those those like marketwatch.com or whatever. Yeah. You go and scroll the news. I can tell you most of them will be negative. So with that how are you supposed to invest with good temperament? <laughs> sure, sure, sell your portfolio halfway. Mm. Not easier. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Well, I I don't know. Is this the most important quality? I would say temperament is a very important quality because you need to be able to control the swings and the ups and downs of the emotion when you're investing, right? Mm. But 
intellect also important. You need to know what you are doing and you need to study into it and have a certain level of understanding instead of just following the crowd or even if you're very stoic, you don't feel about it, you don't study into it, you have no idea what you're buying into. I think that can be very dangerous as well. But if you're stupid, just follow smart people. Just copy them. <laughs> That's what I do. I, I don't know. You still kind of need to know a little bit, right? A little bit also. I I will know how to click the trade button. Copy. <laughs> copy trade. Copy trade. Copy trade. Copy trade. Copy trade. Copy trade. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think um, these are like very nice wisdom, but it's, it's almost like saying if you want to have six pack, have a disciplined diet. You know, it's, it's like it's, it's, it's like it sounds so true, yeah. but yet how many people can really have no emotions when the market moves, you see? Mm. When people around you uh, turns against you or laugh mm. at you and all that. You gotta have that one friend that scolds you all the time when you think so stupid shit. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luckily we got Ken. Uh. Luckily we got Ken. <laughs> <laughs> I get scolded that's, that's, the most among yeah, yeah. here, like here. He gets scolded, scolded by two. Yeah, he gets scolded by two of, the two of us, right? <laughs> yeah. So I, I think it's a wisdom sentence, but how do you really practice like temperament right is is beyond just like oh yeah don't, don't be temperamental right i think mm. it's so hard to it's a lot it. harder it takes mm. um i think it does in this very strange field right, i think it does takes years of experience because mm. if you have been through like two downs yeah. two falls before it makes it easier for you to take the the third one and the fourth one yes. and then it becomes a norm like, like i think that ken's level is like uh, it, it does happen again and again right yeah and then to control temperament obviously you got to make up with knowledge because like again chu is very good at property mm. and if the thing drops it's like it's so freaking obvious but that comes with knowledge and you yeah. didn't get that knowledge just it just doesn't doesn't come overnight it takes yeah. all, 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 kind of, all the work imagine the kind of work you put into add up over the years and years yep. yeah the the work and the research and so i think to be honest this uh, statement itself I think both are important mm. so what I think we think? can we can agree that uh, I mean mm. I will agree that uh, temperament and intellect goes hand in hand because um, when you have more knowledge mm. you kind of have more certainty and more clarity in terms of your emotion I mean yes. like, you don't want to be swing so I wouldn't say it's like most important but it actually does go hand in hand actually, clarity helps you yeah. to be more liberated now I want to talk about like you know uh, I have my aunt last time they don't know much they just follow what people say and they just buy into certain I don't know some MLM or some weird investment product that they just MLM, follow, like, yeah, MLM whatever, sucks right? so, so, so the thing is this they don't know what they are doing and then they 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 don't even feel much about it. End up sure lose money because they don't mm. even have this they inert, have the inert they have no wait. They don't even have this inert fear to escape <laughs> because fear is supposed oh. to be good. So helps they have you escape. Super so they good like, temperament. Do they lose a lot of money? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 because they oh don't no. know what they are doing oh and God. then they just stoic about it and they're so not even um, skeptical. Right? They're just like exactly. Nah, just try right. Well, yes. That's quite dangerous. You are right. Huh? Actually, that's quite dangerous like, if you don't yeah. even feel about it. Uh. Yeah, actually, I hear you say this word a few times, stoic. What does it mean? Stoic means, like me, I'm quite stoic. Huh? So that doesn't help. That's not how you... Explanation. Stoic means like you don't stoic really feel a much. Uh, so, stoic is a philosopher. Yeah. So uh. his, his philosophy, stoicism, I think is like, uh, I think it's the idea of like being, don't feel emotional on things that you're not in control. Oh, that's where I see. I sort of feel like YouTube thumbnails and see stoic, stoic, stoic. Yes, yes, oh. yes. S-T- S-T-O-I-C. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Stoic, yeah. So it's about, if you cannot be in control, there's no point feeling it, right? I mean, okay. because it's already not in control, right? So why put an additional emotion? I'll do it? more research on it. Yeah, which I want to be chewy level, stoic. stoic. Yeah, which I'm clearly the opposite side of a stoic. <laughs> <laughs> know me closely, yeah? <laughs> Advice number six. The stock market is a no call strike game. You don't have to swing at everything. You can wait for your pitch. <gasps> Let me summarize this entire sentence and I tell you how many times. <laughs> don't be a slut. <laughs> don't, why do you see that? Because every time the stock market, there's something that nice that comes along. Yeah, oh. it, it, it can't be like every time a pretty girl walks past, you just want to bump her. Cannot be, right? <laughs> so, don't be a slut. You, only, you guys can only see this side of cat in cafe money, I'll show you, right? Oh no, yeah. Basically, right. don't be a drama who, whenever there's some action you want, like action in the market, there's an upward swing or downward swing, you just want to take certain action. Hmm. 
I mean, I mean, it's about like shiny objects, right? I mean, that's that's the purpose. Of course, right? yeah, shiny, shiny objects. objects, right? And um, you know, you know, some some people can be very wealthy just dollar cost averaging uh, S and P five hundred mm. uh, because they focus on their career mm. and they have a very stable career with a spouse mm. or mm. themselves, right? Mm. And while some can do day trading till they are like millions, we have seen those yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. While some do options like can, some focus on one company. That's all, right? I think once you find your game. Just be very clear because if you are part of every game, you cannot be good at anything. Mm. You know, can you imagine like half the time you are doing this and then you have to, oh, ten minutes on options. You know, people always mm. use this lame sentence like ten minutes on options, ten minutes on like this, and everything is just ten minutes a day. But it takes discipline and, um, and yeah. mental space to do them as well. So yeah. just don't jump into every shiny objects out there because they might be true. People really do make money with them, but might not be you because it's. Too many things. That I mean, just doing. just pick one and focus. Yeah. yeah. So do what do you one, think about this I advice? I mean, do at least do one right first before yes, you move do on. Do one to right it. first. Yeah. What do you think about this advice? Stoic. <laughs> I I think it's a okay okay advice. Yeah. I I think it's a okay advice. It's like a duh yeah. advice to you, huh? Like, yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Mm. So with that, I think that's meh it's okay it's good it makes sense you know just be a little bit careful mm. I think it's golden wisdom lah. I, I mean, think, I think it's, it's good it, it, test yeah. a it will test the mm. time what, what, what test yeah. time how do you say that sentence mm. test the what time the evergreen evergreen <laughs> evergreen the, <laughs> the, the test of the pass the test of time uh, pass, pass the, the test pass of the time test. oh my god it's so a pass test of time right yeah. okay good now yeah. advice number seven. Seven. seven if you like spending six to eight hours per week working on investment do it <laughs> if you don't then dollar cost average into index fund mm. Mm. Chew it. stoic <laughs> no, 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 but why index fund <laughs> Can I, take it? I, I am quite puzzled about why index funds I mean because S&P 500 have an average of 9% uh, well but you can growth. dollar cost average onto an, a stock one stock or two that you are you heavily research on and just that is spending 6 to 8 hours per week mm. must you do it every week I mean if you naturally like it you will do it uh, you know yeah I mean if you uh, lot, some people doesn't mean like stock but you could be enough you will not research into finance mm. uh, like you just generally like finance if for me, I love finance. Uh, in fact, I watch the All In podcast every week. Mm. Uh, yeah, the four billionaires talk. I mean, that's one of the best ways to understand finance. I like money. I, I like to hear topics about money. Um, so if you like, that's this part of your time spending on like on research things on, way, on yeah. research and stuff. So if you like it, then uh, probably do it. Yeah, I think um, in that's fun because generally, if you are part of the top five hundred. Um, best performing company, the largest in, in the States, right? Mm. It kind of follow at least inflationary growth in mm -hmm. a way, it kind yeah. of minus mm -hmm. out. So yeah. at least you're in the game of investment mm -hmm. minimally, right? Yep. I mean, yeah. which is probably not our belief, Yes, but still you are in the game of investment. Yeah. Better than not yeah. uh, investing or putting your money in the bank, right? Yeah, better than putting your money in the bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that, that, that can be quite Dangerous, I would say. Safe is a very scary word right now because at the safe. world is growing. It's not safe anymore. Yeah, I mean, I mean you got to pick your stance. Uh, pretty simple regarding these investments. This this advice is, it's either you play the safe way, that means you just dollar cost average into the index, yep. or you do a lot of work. And if you do a lot of work in the first place, why do you even buy the index? You would rather just buy a stock that you like a lot or mm. like two or three or maybe four or five stocks that you like a lot, which you do, but you really spend a lot of time and you go and buy the index, I think that's dumb. So pick a stand where you want to uh, invest. Yes. And if you spend six to eight hours a week, I feel that your returns should be at least more than the index. And you should uh, if it's it not should, you're doing something should. fundamentally so wrong. Can you yep. imagine that if yep. you're like so active and yeah, you're yeah, lower yeah. than it? I, I mean it comes to this. No, Warren Buffett had this this advice over here. Mm. Uh, I think we can just put it up on the screen. Mm. Warren Buffett once said that diversification is protection against ignorance. Mm. It, it makes little sense if you know what you are doing. So the biggest takeaway is uh, load up on what you know. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think this investment advice has done Warren Buffett really well. I think it is an evergreen advice. Yeah. Uh, in fact, he even tells people to 
you know, don't don't diversify if mm. you know what you're doing. Yeah. But yeah. Elton. If you know what you're doing, but if you really, 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 really don't know what you're doing, but I I think that uh putting your money at least in some form of investment is still better than nothing. Yeah. Just, just does it mean he don't know what he's doing now? <gasps> yeah, he's been underperforming index. But to be fair to him, he's been telling the world to buy index and not buy his fund. I see. Okay. Again, I'm not like against Warren Buffett, but I just think that he got too big for his own good. Like now with hundred over billion dollars in cash. What are you going to do with it? I, I do yeah. not know what to do with a like, hundred over a billion of dollars. What am I yeah, going to do? Yeah. I'll just buy up the, a few companies in the S&P 500. i tell you what to do. Okay. Give me nope. some, a little bit. I will make you manage all the dog shelters in the world, all the cat shelters, all the animal shelters. Okay, okay, then can, you'll can. be a very happy chewy also. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The capital allocation to the right people to do the <laughs> job for me so can I have you more have time. <laughs> yeah. We've got <laughs> seven advice. Yeah. Which one would you guys pick to end off this topic today? Let me start with mine, okay? Because I scroll through the list. So for me, my favorite will be when it rains, go put out a bucket, not the timber, right? So once the whole opportunity arises, you should have the conviction to go big and go bold and 10x in. Hmm. You took my favorite, but I'm going to choose the not so favorite of mine. You can still choose the same. Huh? Oh, is it? <laughs> Then I will say, <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> okay, then I will choose. My favorite advice is when it rain go. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, why, 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 why do you like it? Why do you like it? Because I think this one is the uh, most, I would say, uh, advice, most, most applicable advice or most, the best reminder for most people, I would say. Mm, yeah. Cool. Ken? Mm. I will go to. I bet it's number four. Nope. Nope. Oh. He scrolled past number four. No. Number six. Oh. Don't be a slut. Don't <laughs> be a slut, right? Just focus on your game. Yeah, yeah. Don't fall into shiny object syndromes, right? No slut. All right. No slut, everybody. Mm. With that episode, comment on if you watch this video to the end. You will know it by commenting no slut at the comment session, <laughs> right? So comment on the comments to know that you have got some value from here, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye.